Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve high disk usage on your Windows 10 device. So this should be a fairly straightforward tutorial and should not take too much time at all to complete. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in Services. Best match should say Services right above Desktop App. You want to just left click to open that up. And now in the services window, you want to scroll down until you get to Superfetch, right here. And you want to right click on it, left click on the properties option on this context menu. Go up and select the startup type in this drop down menu. It might say automatic. I recommend clicking inside this box and setting it to disabled. Proceed to left click on apply and OK. You're more than welcome to re-enable that at a later time, but that should definitely make a decent difference for your performance if you're really experiencing some serious lagging on your computer. Another thing I would recommend trying would be to go down to your taskbar. Typically is the long bar on the bottom of your screen. It could be on any of side of your screen as well, but for most people it's on the bottom. You want to right click on the bar itself on an empty spot, and then left click on task manager from this context menu. If your task manager view looks like this, expand it by clicking on this more details button and then you want to go up to the startup tab at the top. Any programs or applications listed in here should be able to be disabled without too much of a hassle. The exception to this would be any antivirus software or anti-malware applications. I'd recommend keeping those enabled. But for the most part, most of these can be disabled like Microsoft OneDrive or VMware tools. Now that's because I'm in a virtual environment. That is not going to probably apply to you guys, but you will likely have more programs listed in here if you regularly use your computer. More than welcome to left click on the disable button down here once you've selected the application. You see the status changes to disabled. And when you have a disabled application here, you see the button down here changes to enabled. So basically enable, disable, so it'll change depending on whatever your program you're hovering over. So pretty straightforward in that regard as well. And I'd also recommend opening up the start menu again and typing in programs. One best matches should hopefully say add or remove programs right above system settings. You want to left click on that one time. And now on the right side there should be apps and features listed here. Now if it has a Microsoft Corporation in the name, I'd recommend probably leaving it alone, but you're more than welcome to uninstall most of them. And if you find any programs you normally use often, I'd recommend removing them from here as they will likely take up resources while your computer is on, even if you were not initiating the process. So just keep that in mind as well. And that's definitely a good way to just keep your computer clean, keep some free hard disk space every once in a while too. So just good practice as well. And that's pretty much it guys. At this point I would recommend restarting your computer and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.